Welcome to 15 Hertz Mastering in Hamburg. My name is Friedemann Tischmeier. I'm mastering engineer since 25 years. I've mastered for artists such as Steely Dan, Iron Maiden, Johnny Cash and many more. The aim of Mastering Academy was to create a new level of mastering school to create a very uh, specific experience for uh, upcoming mastering engineers and mixing engineers and producers who want to get deeper into mastering. We already had roughly 100 students from all around the world, actually from uh, 16 different countries yet. What is specific about the studio? It's actually built on a floating bunker system with more than 10 tons of material. I've worked in so many studios all around the world and the acoustics in this room is so almost perfect uh, that listeners and students need almost zero adaption time to, to adapt to the acoustic situation here. We have also a big choice of analog gear here, the best of, of the best you could get, uh, a wide range of compressors, EQs, everything you need, and also uh, a wide choice of the best you can get in the inter internal uh, mastering in the box area. Uh, so that we can kind of cover all genres. So we can work pretty transparent and stay on the digital base, or we can add uh, analog flavor if wanted from EQs and uh, compressors and whatsoever. I'm working with WaveLab since 15 years, and one of the biggest projects I've done with WaveLab is mastering approximately 30 hours of material for Alan Parsons including a few of his greatest hits. And I've worked for a lot of artists such as uh, Lizard, Gunfighter, and a lot of American rock bands, and also worldwide a lot of independent bands. I actually must admit that I had a time between WaveLab 7 and 8 where I was not 100% satisfied with WaveLab because there have been too many icons and it was not intuitive enough. And when I had the chance to, to uh, get a glance of WaveLab 9 for the first time, I was really surprised and excited to see that uh, WaveLab in Steinberg has gone a completely new way and straightened out the whole user interface so that it became much more intuitive and fast and easy to work. And this is in particular for me important for Mastering Academy because I want to work and teach on a system which is easy to understand for my students as well. And so uh, WaveLab 9 is a great evolution, absolutely. One of the great new features in WaveLab 9 is the enhanced master section with MS encoding and decoding capacities. So it makes you absolutely flexible and MS processing and modern mastering workflow is pretty important. So that you are super independent now from the plug and manufacturer or brand. So you can use a regular stereo EQ, for example, let's say the um, massive passive EQ, which is no MS EQ at all, but you can uh, use this MS function in the slot and say I want to use this particular plugin in MS and uh, you can do things uh, which have been not, a not possible before and uh, I love this flexibility. Another great new feature is definitely Masterig, which is a kind of Swiss army knife for mastering processing. It's a multiband uh, compressor, dynamic processor, and tape saturation and everything. This makes WaveLab pretty flexible and you already have a unique, powerful onboard tool available. Yeah, when, when you compare different DWs, especially in the area of mastering, it comes down to little things which are important, finally. So if you have a little task and you have to do it 100 times a day and every day in the week, it's, it's just nerve-wracking when it's not fluent. So tiny differences make, make the big difference at the very end. So finally, things like 
uh, smart bypass and, and stuff like that uh, makes life for a mastering engineer just easy. And uh, yeah, so finally, I'm pretty happy with WaveLab 9. <laughs>